Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome into the Audio Ground School podcast. My name is Nick Smith. I am the founder of Part-Time Pilot and the host of the podcast. Last week, we finished up the very last lesson of our Private Pilot Online Ground School here on the Audio Ground School podcast. That means right now, you could literally go and listen to the past 85 episodes of the podcast and get an entire Private Pilot Online Ground School in audio format completely free. That's pretty awesome. So what do we do next? And that's what today's episode is going to be about. It's going to be a little bit shorter, and we're just going to kind of lay out the future plans for this podcast so that you guys can have an idea and get excited about what we have in store for you all. And I'm really excited for it. It's going to be jam-packed with more and more value. So yeah, let's get into that. So today is, this is dropping on March 25th. The next episode will be on April 1st. Oh, that's April Fool's Day. So maybe I'll do something fun for that. But what we're going to do starting on April 1st is we're going to go right into checkride prep, right? Because we're going to assume, okay, you've gone through our entire online ground school, you've passed the written, and now you're getting ready. You've done most of your flight lessons and you're starting to prep for your checkride. So what is going to be involved in that? Now, next week's episode, we'll go in more detail in what is in our checkride prep course that you can bundle with our online ground school. What is all in that when you get that? We'll talk about that. And then we'll talk about what we're going to go over in the podcast. We're not going to review, you know, any knowledge or anything from the online ground school because we just went through that all. So we're not going to do that, which is, might be something you do to check for checkride prep, right? It might be a while since you've taken online ground school and you might want to refresh your memory on ground school content. But we're not going to do that. We're going to assume that that memory is fresh because you can just go back to the lessons here on the podcast or in your online ground school. So we're not going to do that, but we're going to talk about checkride prep specific things. And so next week we'll start, we'll give an overview of what the course does, and then we'll talk about some helpful tools and tricks for prepping for your checkride. And then we'll talk about preparing for it and scheduling your checkride. Because there's a lot actually involved in that. You got to find a DPE, you know, what is a DPE? You got to apply for it in IACRA. You got to fill out all your hours in IACRA and have all the requirements. So we'll probably review those requirements. This is stuff that your flight instructor should do with you as well, but not everyone does. So we're going to cover that. And then that'll probably be a full episode next week. And then the following week on April 8th, We'll continue on with checkride prep, and we'll talk about what to expect. So there's going to be a, just the one episode, and it's going to be a pretty long one. And sorry if you guys can hear the planes today. They're actually taking off towards the east, so they're really loud where I'm recording, if you can hear the planes in the background. They're usually landing, so the engines are low, but now the engines are full throttle where they're taking off. I'm by San Diego Airport, International Airport, so that's what you're hearing. So April 8th, we're going to talk about what to expect on your check ride. So, and there's a few categories on that. So what to expect in terms of your qualifications. So the first thing, you know, that happens is you're going to have to prove your qualifications. So what to expect in terms of that and how to prepare for that. What to expect in terms of proving the aircraft's qualifications. What to expect in terms of the oral exam. What to expect in terms of the flight exam and then what to expect in terms of how you're going to be graded and how you can know how you're going to be graded. That's going to be a jam-packed episode on April 8th. So it's going to be a long one there, but it's going to be really, really, really valuable. And then we'll move on to the next week on April 15th. We'll continue on with Checkride Prep, and we're going to talk about more detail, not, not kind of what to expect from your examiner, but how exactly to prove your qualifications as an airman and then talk about possible oral exam questions that your examiner might ask you. Okay. So there's, you know, a big network of examiners and they chat with each other and a lot of them ask similar questions. And we'll talk about what kind of questions you can expect and what kind of answers the examiner will be expecting when you're going through and proving your qualifications as an airman. So that's April 15th. Then April 22nd, check red prep, continuing on and talk about how to prove your aircraft qualifications and then possible oral exam questions you might get from the examiner around that. That's April 22nd. April 29th, more check ride prep. We'll talk about the oral exam, go into detail on the oral exam and possible 
oral exam questions you'll get from the DPE while you're on the ground during your check ride, and then your cross country scenario. So usually they integrate, you know, their oral exam questions with you showing them your cross country scenario. So we'll talk about that and what to expect there and how how exactly to do that. And then we're getting into May, May 6th, we'll have another check ride prep episode and that'll be on the practical portion of the exam, so the the flight portion. So we'll tell you what to expect and how to prepare for that and kind of walk you through what exactly what that's going to be like so that you know exactly what to prepare for. And then finally on May 13th, we're going to do a mock check ride. So I'm currently right now looking for students who are preparing for their check rides who are going to, you know, I'm going to get their AOK that they can be filmed and recorded. And we're going to put that recording here on the podcast for you guys. So we'll do a mock check ride. That's May 13th. That'll be really, really valuable. And then on May 20th, we're going to talk about our spring scholarship. And I want to talk about that here now because it is the spring and it is coming up. And if you guys know, followed us for a while, we give out four scholarships a year. We've been doing this for like three or four years now. Before, they were all $1,000 and they were all to members of the online ground school. But then last year, I had the idea. Once we started, I realized we have a little bit of a following online, following on the podcast, following on Instagram. So maybe there's a way that I could use this to help more people, right? To help more student pilots. So I was thinking maybe I could start a GoFundMe and start with the $1,000 donation for part-time pilot for one of our scholarships and see if other people can donate, just kind of crowdsource it. Like if we get a bunch of people to donate five bucks, you know, when we can get that up to a considerable amount and then have an application go out and really have an impact on on one, two, maybe three student pilots. I think a lot of people in the aviation world who are I know are great people would absolutely give five bucks for that cause. So we did that for the first time last year in our spring scholarship, and it, we opened up the application to anybody who was flight training in the United States. So you don't have to be a member of the online ground school for our spring scholarship. And we raised almost $5,000 last year simply from the $1,000 donation from us and then just people being awesome in the aviation world. So thank you again for that. And we gave out, we split it into three. We did a vote. You know, I sent out a, a poll and you guys said you'd rather have three people win and each get like $1,600 or something like that. But every single cent that is donated goes to student pilots who win. I don't take anything from it. Absolutely nothing. I am not about that. That's why I use GoFundMe to be 100% transparent with that so that if there's any, if anyone wants to, you know, question what I'm doing, GoFundMe is our mediator. They can come to me and they can get, you know, but I'm not going to do that. But that's why I'm doing GoFundMe so it's completely transparent. And then the only people that make any money for this is unfortunately GoFundMe. They take like a small fee, but that's okay. That We're doing that again this year. But this year I had the idea to maybe get some corporate sponsorship help. And we have had now three sponsors and they have donated a total of almost $2,500 plus the $1,000 donation from part-time pilot. So we're already at $3,500. Our goal is $10,000. So for those of you listening right now, if you have five bucks to give and you want, ever been thinking of giving to a good cause, please consider the GoFundMe scholarship. Again, it's all going to go to the winners, even if it's just a dollar, five dollars, whatever. Highly appreciate it. But if you don't have it, I completely understand. I'm not trying to money grab or anything like that. Just trying to do something cool and help out some people. And we already have almost $3,500. So again, our goal is $10,000. So really, if you can't donate, at least share our GoFundMe link and share on your social media or whatever. Try and get it out to the world. You always hear about these awesome stories. And I think it'll be really cool just to have a huge freaking scholarship. And yeah, I know that the more publicity and viewership the part-time pilot gets the more that we will give because that's what we really care about so i'll put that link in the show notes for that about mid-may so the beginning of may i'll open up the application and i'll have people be able to apply for that and the gofundme campaign will be fully going there and hopefully we'll have a pretty high value there and then what we're going to do this year is we're going to have 
Last year, I picked the winner. And I don't like all that pressure on me, right? I tried my best to go through the applications and pick the most deserving person. But when there's a lot, there are so many deserving people. And it's really, really hard to say no to all of you guys, especially because I know how deserving you guys are of this. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to pick some finalists. And then we're going to have the finalists create a like couple minute video to say why they deserve the scholarship. And we'll put that audio recording on the podcast on April 20th. I'll post those on our social media. We'll send out an email about those. And we're going to have you guys vote on the winners of that based off those videos, the ones that you want to see to win that scholarship. So this time you guys are going to choose who wins that scholarship. So it's your guys' scholarship. I'm going to donate $1,000, which I already did. And then I'm going to try and get as many corporate sponsorships as possible. And then it's yours. You guys donate what you can, spread the word, try and get it as big as possible. And I'm going to help do that too. And then I'll come up with some finalists based off the physical paper application. Again, I'll send out those links in early May for the applications. And then you guys decide the winners based off the finalists from a short video clip that I'll have those finalists do. So should be really, really fun. And I wanted to involve you guys and make this your thing. Please, if you have the money, go donate to that or share that GoFundMe on your social medias with friends, family, with your flight school, all that stuff. It'd be really, really helpful. And it's a great cause. Okay, that is May 20th. So we'll do the application videos and voting on that. And then that next week, the voting will close. I haven't decided on the, the day yet, and then we'll announce it that week. So end of May will be the announcement for the winners. And then May 27th, we're going to do a couple interviews. So through the month of May, I'm going to be interviewing some really high valuable people on some topics that I think are really important to pilots. And I'm going to keep those a secret, but we have two lined up for sure already. A couple experts, one that's written a best-selling book. So that's really exciting. It was kind of a really cool moment when they agreed to come on the podcast. And then another expert in the online space on something important to pilots. And then I'm thinking up one or two more really high valuable interviews that will be helpful for you guys. And again, remember, I only do these interviews with people and put them on the podcast if I think they'll be valuable to you guys. So we'll do maybe three or four of those. And then by the time we get into mid-June, maybe June 17th or so, we're going to start our IFR online ground school. So we're going to go through all those lessons here on the podcast. At least that's the plan for now. And then again, while we do that, we might mix in more interviews here and there. But that's the plan for the podcast going forward in the future. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any recommendations, if there's an episode you'd love to see, if there's someone you'd love to hear interviewed, I will reach out. If you think they'd be very, very valuable to student pilots, let me know. Have them reach out to me or tell me where I can find them and I'll reach out to them. Or if you have any other ideas for a podcast episode, reach out at team at parttimepilot.com. That's our email or on social media at part period time period pilots. That's part time pilot with periods in between. And if you're not following us on social media, do us a favor and go do that. If you haven't reviewed the podcast, do us a favor and go do that. All of that, the higher, the more followers we get, the more, you know, oh, that's one other thing. The more downloads and follows our podcast gets, the more we can make an ad revenue. And that's, so I didn't mention, but the idea I had for sponsorships, the way I'm getting these sponsorships for the scholarship is I'm exchanging them to do, and I'm only doing this to companies that I really like, right? So that's how I've started it. I'm going to some companies that I think are doing some really cool things and have really cool tools that, again, can help student pilots. And I'm asking them if they would be interested in donating to our scholarship. And in return, I'll do a little piece on them on the podcast or on social media or whatever. And so far, it's been extremely successful for everybody. I wanted it to be a win-win-win. So we've gotten large sum donations to the scholarship. You know, those companies have been able to be seen by student pilots that they want. And then you guys have benefited from their products because I've selected these companies only because I think their products are very beneficial and I've used them myself. And those companies so far are, there's Fly Like a Local. So it's an, a really cool app that allows you to basically learn everything you 
can in your local community about the, the airports, the, the aviators, you know, METARs, the information that pilots need to know in and around an airport and local community. So that's really cool app there. That's called Fly Like a Local, and you can find them on social media. And then Plain English is an aviation radio simulator. They did a, a large sum donation, and I use them to get confident and practice my radio calls. And their app has just like skyrocketed since then in the terms of features and abilities that it can do. Every single situation you can do, you can practice that you can imagine you're, you'll have talking to ATC, you can practice. And it's like talking to ATC, but without the stress. So you can practice that through an app and actually talk to the app and stuff like that. So that's Aviation Radio Simulator by Plain English. Again, another thing, and they gave us a coupon code. I'll put that in the show notes so you guys can save money on a tool that I've already vetted that is great. And then finally, last one, what I'm really excited about is Core Aviation. They made a large sum donation and they make headsets, Core headsets. And they were the first headset I ever got like eight or so, eight, nine years ago. And I still have the headset. Still works like a charm. It's like 200 bucks or I, I'm not sure their price is now, but I think when I got it, it was like a hundred bucks. And so it was like something I could actually afford as a student pilot, right? It's not like a thousand dollar bows or something like that. Don't get me wrong. Those other ones are great headsets. But I thought when I was buying the core headsets that I would get something cheaply made. And I was blown away that that was not the case. And like I said, I still have them today and they still work. And so they were one of the companies that I reached out to because I thought they were high value to student pilots because look, we all want our own pair of headsets. We don't want to borrow, you know, the stinky headsets at our flight school. And this is something you can do affordably and they're reliable. So I reached out and they love to support our scholarship and they are a great company. So that that's so far. Uh, if you know any other companies that you really, really like the products, they've been valuable to you as a student pilot, they're reliable and they're well-priced for the value, please reach out and let me know. And I would love to see if they want to join as a sponsor. All right, guys, thank you for listening to this week's episode. Went a little bit longer than I thought it was, but that's what we're going to do going forward. A lot of great content and please, please, please share that scholarship and let's make it, let's get to our goal of $10,000. All right, guys, I'll talk to you next week. Did you know that Part-Time Pilot's Ultimate Private Pilot Test Prep book just won a Pulitzer Prize? Okay, no, it didn't win a Pulitzer Prize, but it was just updated for the recent changes we saw made to the FA written exam. So now the book has everything that our ground school has and the same questions and test bank that our ground school has that students are averaging over 90% on the FA written exam. It's now up on Amazon and you can find it in our show notes on every episode. So go ahead and check that out.